Hi everyone in this video we are going to see about dust in mines given in the circular number 1 of 2010 if you are watching this video for the first time kindly subscribe to our channel sorongavali so that you will get notified whenever we post videos related to mining in our workplace there are number of particles which are hazardous to human health which are present in the form of aerosols that is suspension of solid or liquid particles in air in general dust is understood to be aerosols of only solid particles of very small size that is 0.1 micrometer and above when we compare the size of the human hair which is 50 to 75 micrometer in size while the red blood cells in our blood is of size 8 micrometer the behavior and the effect of dust particles to the human respiratory system is depends upon what is the nature of the dust particle and the size of the dust particle more importantly we have to pay attention to the size of the dust particle because the larger size of the particles settle quickly than the smaller size of the dust particles and these small particles remain suspended in air for long time and they enters into our human respiratory system and causes many respiratory diseases to human being based on the size of the dust particles we are classifying the dust into two different types as inhalable dust and respirable dust inhalable dust or the dust particles that can enter only nose and mouth during breathing and they get deposited there they are not able to move further while respirable dust are very small in size that is 0.1 micrometer to 10 micrometer range and they bypass nose and mouth and they enters the gas exchange region of the lungs excessive or long term exposure to harmful respirable dust may cause respiratory disease called pneumoconiosis pneumoconiosis is a general name for all respiratory disease some of the diseases that comes under pneumoconiosis are silicosis coal workers pneumoconiosis and asbestosis silicosis is a lung disease which is caused due to excessive breathing of dust particles containing more silica dust silica dust causes fibrous or scar tissue formation in the lungs which reduces the ability of the lungs to work and extract oxygen from air there is no cure for this disease only way is to prevent this disease from happening coal workers pneumoconiosis is also called black lung disease is caused due to breathing of excessive respirable dust containing coal dust particles these coal dust particles accumulate in the lungs and darken the tissue in the lungs this disease is very progressive in nature asbestosis is caused due to breathing of dust particles containing asbestos fiber this disease is also non curable the early stage of this disease is completely unnoticeable but upon continuous exposure to dust particles the person may feel shortness of breath they may experience possible fever and occasional bluish skin in ear and lips area the progression of the disease may cause fatigue extreme shortness of the breath loss of appetite pain in the chest cavity area which may ultimately lead to death of the person considering the effect of this disease in workplace 
our government of india has joined hand with international labor organization and world health organization to eliminate pneumoconiosis and silicosis from workplace by 2030 hope this video was very useful to you subscribe to our channel for more videos